Hey chillers, welcome to another episode of Makeup and Chill with Woodpecker. In this episode, you're going to see me do my hair. Yes, I'm doing my hair for you guys. I'm going to show you how to do these butterfly locks. Well, they are the butterfly locks, but with my twist, with the Woodpecker twist. <laughs> and I'm going to do a full face of makeup and I put on some nails. Well, I'm not going to show you how to put on the nails, but yes. I'm doing that all today for you, so stick around, get you a glass of wine, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so let's get into it. I am going to have to pull this hair out it's a lot of hair my hair is thick it's not long but it's a lot and my head is big <laughs> I know y'all can see it anyways I'm going to use the shine jam and my comb is broken don't laugh at my comb but it works it works yes I have been known to break a few combs my hair is that thick but it works all right so we're going to part the back and I can't really see what I'm doing and I'm using my phone as a mirror yeah I can't see <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing but I'm just gonna show you that I part the back it's not always straight I got a mirror and I tried to part it properly um, it's not always straight but hey who's looking at the parts in your head when you're doing your own head like right <laughs> anyways I think I got it straight right about this point and you're gonna see me plaiting each I'm gonna like part it into four again and then plait them put the shine gel right at the base and then plait it all the way down okay so let me tell you something about this plaiting all the way down right you do not need to plait it all the way down you can plait it like half away or even quarter way depending on the length of your hair but i plait it all the way down because i was not planning to finish my hair tonight I was planning to do my hair like this, plait it all the way through, wear it a couple of days with the plaits, and then put in the butterfly locks. But I changed my mind once I was done. I said, let me just go all the way through. So you're gonna see me plaiting all the way down, but you do not have to plait all the way down your hair. You can do halfway or dep depending on the length that you have, you can do a quarter. So this is what it's looking like some ways into it and I'm really tired. My arms are killing me. The plaiting and parting. Yeah, it's it was a lot. My head is big. So even when you think I'm halfway, I'm not. <laughs> but then, yeah, kept plaiting away. Just one left. <laughs> And finally done. Listen, your girl was tired. And I was also hungry. So I got me a bowl of salad. And I enjoyed my salad. Okay. So now I'm going to get my hair. I'm going to get the hair. These are called spring twists. I should have shown that on the video. But I'll leave a link below. And show you. So you can find the hair. It's called spring twist. And I got red or burgundy. And this is 12 inch. So what you want to do is take out two or however fat you want them and you're going to spread them apart make sure you spread them apart as much as you can um, without making it actually lose its shape and then i'm going to use my crochet needle i tried to do this so you guys could see but my hand was covering it just a little bit but you open up your crochet needle put it under your hair push it through and underneath your plait Pull the hair out and just you're gonna leave one side in your hand and pull the other side out. So basically, this is what it's supposed to look like. Then you're gonna put one 
piece onto your hair and wrap the other side, wrap with the other side. So you're putting one piece with your hair together and then wrap the entire thing with the other side after you found your desired length. So I thought the camera was going to pick me up doing the ends of the hair. I tried to, but I'm short. <laughs> and so I'm going to do it a few more times. And when I get to the top, you'll see how I do the end. But here I'm just going to show you one more time. Push the crochet needle under your plait, through your plait, right at the base. And then you're going to pull the hair through and then put one part of the hair with your actual hair and then wrap. Just continue to wrap around. Okay, so in this one, I'll be able to show you what I do with the ends. As I get all the way down to the end and I will have some left over on one side. Well, one side will be longer than the other side. So the longer side, I just take and roll it back up on top of itself. Yeah, this is what it looks like halfway through. And I'm tired, but we still got to move on, y'all. You don't understand like this this is hours later hours later <laughs> hours later and i did not break through any of this well just to eat as you saw but other than that i kept going this is a tedious process kudos to all the hairdressers out there but y'all hours later so we're pulling through and we're wrapping around and I'm gonna show you how I do the end again. So like I said, there's going to be one side that is longer than the other. And I just keep wrapping it around until I get to the bottom. And the longer piece that's there, I'm just gonna take it and wrap it back up on top of itself. So the piece that's left, I'm gonna take it and wrap it back up on top of itself. So it just makes a little lock there and it does not pull out. After about six or seven hours from start, I have two left. Finally, just two left. And guys, this is a tedious process. I mean, just plaiting my hair from top to bottom and then going in with the crocheting each one, it was a lot, but I'm almost done. But the video isn't almost done and my night wasn't almost done either because I had my makeup to do next. Guys, pray for me. But I'm here to entertain y'all so we're going to do a full face of makeup too before we're done. And here, all done. Finally done. That's the finished product, guys. That's how it looks. Hope you tried. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Now let's start with the makeup. So I did my brows off camera because I was getting frustrated with it. <laughs> so I just did it off camera. And I was really tired too. So 
it. I was trying to get that tired look out my face. But anyways, going with the P. Louise base, you know what we do. I'm, I'm going to stop talking from here on out because y'all know the process already. So I'm going to let you listen to this music, watch this transformation, and I'll be back at the end of the video. Enjoy! Okay, so I do have to interrupt here because I made a big mistake. So I put too much water into the face paint and it caused it to be dripping and then you'll see it makes a bubble, not really a bubble, but like a drip right there and yeah, you don't want that. So make sure your consistency is what you want it to be before you start. But I just got some paper, at, well not paper, I dried off the brush and took off the excess water. Please don't ask me what color glitter that is because I concocted it. I got a bunch of leftover glitter that I used some time ago and I put it together and it gave that look and so that's what it is. I don't remember which ones I put together so yeah it's concocted. So you see I wasn't too worried about that mistake that I had made because I knew I was going to cover it up with glitter. But you should also always make sure you have the right consistency so it's not dripping all over the place and you don't have to start over. Okay, enough talking. I'm going to let you watch now.
and here's the final look y'all i even did my nails so i did my hair i did my face i did my nails it was a full makeover i'm tired but i hope you guys liked it tell me what you think in the comment section below y'all know what to do subscribe like share click that notification bell so you know when another video is coming out it was my pleasure to entertain you and become tired. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. See you on the next time on Makeup and Chill with Woodpecker. Bye.